So I have signed up for the 12-hour Mountaineer Rumble at Kings Mountain State Park. A good friend of mine, Dustin, posted on his Instagram a few weeks ago that he was running this event. It's very close to my home, so I figured, hey, I'm undertrained, underprepared, but I'm going to be with some good friends. What could go wrong? So, let the rumble begin. I went into this event probably the worst prepared of any event I have ever been in. Very little sleep. Actually, three hours of sleep total the night before. Dehydrated. Just a crap ton of bad decisions. But I'm going to be with good friends. And as long as I can stay mentally positive, I should be fine. Well, so here with a lot of friends for the Mountain Rumble, this guy. This is going to be fun. This is all because of him. Uh, so uh, it's going to be dark. It's going to look like garbage, but uh, with all the headlamps on, I should be at little And everybody together, we should be able to get the first lap. I don't know anything about this course, and it is extremely humid. So we start logging miles. There we are, boys. Yeah, yeah, it is. So a few days before the race, I found out that my good buddies Jonathan Fariati and Daniel Mahler were running this event as well. Yeah, these are the guys that I rode the Blue Ridge Parkway with, and they're just straight up legends. Such good guys, such a motivation. So I had to catch up with them. I wasn't going to be able to stay with them long, but at least I would be able to log a few feet with them. My plan for this event was just to log miles. I didn't care about my pace, and I actually had changed my watch so that I could not see what time it was, nor the pace, nor the distance. I wanted to relieve myself of the pressure of not meeting an expectation. My goal was to move for 12 hours, and that was what I was going to do. If it was walking, running, jogging, I was going to move for 12 hours. Now that sounds good, but it's a lot harder in the middle of the night when you're by yourself and you do 4.5 miles and you don't see anyone. And that's what's to come. So it was with a group right up there. You probably won't be able to see them, but that last section was a doozy. Uh, it's, It's just not steep enough that you don't feel like you can run it so by running it it's just longer than you think so you definitely uh, get winded by the top and need to dump this shirt it's so freaking hot already Dude, you made the call no shirt. Jeez. I might have come hold on to a bottle. Bro. Yeah. So my friend Dustin catches me and we're able to chat for a little bit. But as you can see, Dustin is moving faster than I am. And there's just no way... I can keep up. So, adios Dustin, I'll see you later. 
So I just took my first dive. That sucked. But I got that out of the way, so... Oh, we can keep, keep moving. Right here, guys. Take a left here. First lap is complete. Uh, not what I was expecting, but it's gonna be fun. Remember at the beginning, I said my goal was to move for 12 hours? Well, that was gonna be hard. I was going to have to stay positive, and that was even harder than moving. Well, I don't know if you can see, but it is hot and humid, and uh, just done two laps. Um, moving really slow, uh, really tired already, um, but we'll get a groove here in a little bit. Getting a groove. For me, I am a very social runner. I know that if I can find people, I can use their energy. And a few laps in, I came across Beth and Jesse. And oh my God, did I find my groove. This was very difficult for me. I knew it would be, but every lap with them made it easier. See, I have a goal of running 100 miles in December. And Jesse and Paige taught me something that I have not learned yet. The Ultra Walk. Just finished uh, loop four. Been traveling with some really nice people. Uh, great conversation, really helping to distract. But this is the start finish line. I seriously cannot say enough nice things about Jesse and Paige. Man, they were a lifesaver. They are incredible runners and an incredible ultra athletes. Paige taught me how to ultra walk. Her walk was so fast that it was almost my jog. It took me about a lap just to get comfortable because she was moving so fast. It was impressive. There were times she would leave me and I would have to start jogging to catch back up. This is lap, lap seven. And so, uh, yeah, just logging miles. So, here we go. Ten hours and fifty one minutes at this current moment. I'm tired. My legs hurt. Um but I'm gonna do it. This is my final lap because I will not make it back around in time for the cutoff. Sun is coming up. My brain is, is shutting down. Or again, your name? Jesse. Jesse. Paige. Nick. Okay. Okay, so let me take this off. Uh, we have been moving for uh, 11 hours now, and I could not have done it without these three right here. Woo! Nick, if you'll remember, Nick ran Peyton's Wild and Wacky. 10 by 5k with me yep. it was so much fun yeah. and uh you can you can see that video but these kind folks right here have allowed me to tag along and they have kept me motivated and Paige his wife here, <laughs> here's uh, the thing here's the thing Paige oh, is so freaking fast she's got <laughs> the fastest walk 
of anybody that I know. Like, like what's crazy is we're doing 11 hours. And seriously, I know, right? But this is this is the crew that I've been running with through the night, and uh, very grateful for them to allow me to tag along. So. Mutual. <laughs> so Paige leads us into the woods and she drags us on home. We've been moving for over 11 hours. This is our ninth lap. We are in good spirits. Nobody has been injured and nobody is complaining of anything hurting. Even me. I'm tired, but my ankles feel good. My knees feel good. It feels really weird. With over 3,900 feet of climbing, it just feels weird. It's almost over. The first four hours of this event were dreadful. I was really paying the price for not sleeping the night before. But something shifted. I don't know what it was, and I honestly don't care to know what it was. It just shifted. And I did it. Look who came. <laughs> To see me finish. Good job. A big thank you to Dustin for the challenge. I needed something to kick me in the butt to get going. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Get that bell on. I'll be posting new videos soon. Adios.